Hey, hey, hey. Oh my god. <clears throat> I look tired, let me tell you. It's been a while, I'm sorry. Um, I got really sick, like really, really sick for a week. Okay, let me see what happened. That's amazing. Um, I got really, really sick for a week and then I was just like lying in bed at home, feeling sorry for myself. And then I'm finally feeling better, so now I'm back to it. Um, and I look so pale in this life. So. But um, it's date night. Me and Vaz are celebrating five years as a couple. It's really, really exciting. And we're going out to dinner. We're doing like a staycation at a hotel. So I'm at a hotel right now. My bathroom is not this nice. But oh my god, guys, we got an apartment. Let me just hide as I smile. We got our own apartment, which is really exciting. So we bought it two weeks ago. It still feels like a dream. Um, Move-in is probably in the middle of March, hoping, fingers crossed. And it's pretty much like ready to move in. Like the apartment is gorgeous. Um, but we're going to like, so um, like for furniture and everything, we're just going to go like all out. Um, like everything is going to be new. Um, all of the furniture we have right now, we got when we first started living together like five, four years ago um or three years ago or something <laughs> i don't know um so everything we got at like ikea and it's pieces that like we saw as temporary not really like stuff that i truly love so now we're finally gonna get stuff that we truly 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 adore and love and i'm so excited it feels so good you guys are obviously coming along on the journey um like so we're definitely not going to buy all of the furniture like right away we're probably gonna live in the apartment for a little while and then like get into it so it feels really really exciting I'm really, truly, like, it's so amazing to finally have a home that's, like, ours and that we're not renting. Um, so, yeah, it still feels unreal, though. Like, we have our own apartment. I don't believe it. Okay, so, um, date night makeup. I'm going to start with the Becca backlighting primer filter. So, I have this little guy right here. Not loving it. Actually, like, really hating it. Um... So yeah, I just put this primer on the high points of my face mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because I'm like, I usually don't really wear, usually don't use a primer, but I kind of feel like, you know, I want to be a little extra glam today. I just want to look a little extra cute. So, so. I'm going to use RMS Beauty. This is the Uncover Cream Foundation. So I've had the, you know how much I love this. This is the Uncover Up, um, the concealer. So they just released a new one that's like more like a foundation. Um, <clears throat> the packaging is bigger, which is like, you really need so little for it to go all over your face. Like they use so little, um, which is really nice. So it'll last for a really long time. And then what I always do is I do this. I take something. Let's just take this. This is probably not very hygienic, but whatever. They're always clean. I'm going to put it on my hand. Just to smudge it out. It's just easier for me to apply it. <laughs> you don't need a lot of this like it's really um it's buildable coverage i feel like it's as buildable as their other like as the concealer is so what you can do is like you put a layer of this and then you put a layer of like setting powder um they have um powder as well and then you do another layer um you know me i don't like i don't like when makeup is too heavy so i just prefer doing one layer i use the shade 44 so i have the same shade in this one as i have in um the uncover up concealer and then i'm just gonna like cover up my blemishes like i'm not gonna cover them up too much because you know it's life they're cute but i'm gonna put some under my eye mm -hmm. and then just this dude over here mm. to be 
honest, because I don't do like a full coverage makeup, whenever I put concealer on my blemishes, it really doesn't like cover anything up anyways, you can still see them, um, but whatever. It's cute. It's there, and then it'll be gone. And then it'll be there again. This one, however, does not wanna like, it's there. It does not wanna leave me the hell alone and I'm like a little annoyed because it's like one of those pimples that hurt like it hurts really bad but it won't. okay next thing is my brows oh my god I think I forgot my brow pen oh I'm so sad I forgot oh well I used to have this one so I have a brow pen from Naked Beauty um it's just like I fold the brows in a little bit forgot that at home so i'm just gonna brush them up i literally rave about this about this brow gel every week on my instagram but it's just so damn good like it's amazing it's the anastasia clear brow gel anastasia beverly hills so what i usually do is like i can fill out a little bit like right here in this gap but um because i don't have I don't have it so but this dude is like literally the best thing you can ever invest in it's life-changing you need it um my brows so i always brush them up because i love brushing them up and they stay up for ages okay true stories i forgot my vlog camera so i'm vlogging from the phone but i think it'll be cute anyways hope you guys forgive me um, okay, so the fun part. I have two different bronzers. So I have the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel, and then I have the Hourglass one. Um, and sometimes I like using this, sometimes I like using this. A little Lila B um, bronzer thingy. It's cute. just literally go all over the place with this I mean you can definitely look too tanned but no not today and then I always do it right here as well Oh, and this is the <clears throat> Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. Um, I really enjoy this. I know I've showed it before. But it's really nice. And like it goes on, it has like a little bit of shimmer in it, but not like too much. I hate when um, they're like too much. I need to do my lips because I'm getting nervous looking at... Uh, Okay, so the combination I used was, so it's three different ones. It's the um, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. Love this one. My mom got it. She was not happy with it. I think it was like too dark for her, so I stole it. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Penelope Pink. <laughs> My mom also got this. It was too dark for her, so I stole it. And then the Dior Lip Maximizer. Um, in shade 001 um so these are like my go-to's like i always have them in my bag or whatever i do like can't live without them and today i don't have i like i don't really use highlighters anymore i've noticed so what i tend to do is i use this glow gasm beauty light wand from charlotte tilbury this is in the shade am i supposed to know this peach gasm so i just put a little bit on my hand because it goes like you get a lot from it. Um, I haven't even pressed it yet. And then I just put a little bit on 
Like, I know this is like blush, but I just, you know, I play around with it. I think makeup is made to, you know, you're made to play around with it and find whatever you like, you know? I like that it's like a nice blush, but it's also, you know, it gives you like, it's like a little highlighting blush. It looks really nice. I love this one. So happy I got it. Um, I usually put a little bit over my nose because that's where the sun naturally hits. So I like, oh my God, I'm so happy with this. A mascara, a mascara. No, you know what I do before mascara? I put this on. So this is literally the best spring is the Lila B A Glow Face Mist. I live for this. Like it's so good. So what I do is I just spray it all over. It's a little wet. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little eye polish on. So this is the RMS Eye Polish in Myth. It's really pretty. Um, oh, it's really dry. I'm like, when did I get this one? Is it old? It might be old. No, it can't be old. So it's kind of like, it has this little like silver, it's like the perfect amount for me because you know, um, I'm not like, I'm like a little chicken when it comes to eyeshadow, like applying it on myself. It doesn't do like a huge difference, um, I just like that it gives me like a little bit. Um, And I'm like, I can't decide whether I should have my bangs down or pushed back today. I feel like maybe I'll just have them pushed back. Every now and then it's nice to have it back. Um, Okay, and many people ask me how I can have my bangs pushed back and the only way I can have it pushed back is if, first of all, like, if my hair is dirty, I can push it back. Right now it's clean. I washed it two days ago. So what I do then is, like, when I get out of the shower, um, usually I brush my bangs down, but when I know that, like, I want to have my bangs pushed back, I always push it back. So I always let it dry back. And that's, like, the big difference for me. That makes a difference. Um, I actually just got my bangs cut, so it is a little bit harder to have it pushed back because they're quite short. I think they're accidentally, like, a little bit too short for my taste right now, but, um, they're so cute. I don't know, do you guys think I should curl my hair a little bit more or is this good? I think this is good. Um, I also use the Jisoo, Gisu. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, the Prep Me, Prime Me, Define Me, the Propolis Infused Polishing Primer. Um, whenever I curl my hair, I put a little bit of this in, and then I just comb through the hair with it. Um, it gives a really nice defined curl, because um, I always, you know, brush out my curls, but then sometimes when you brush them out, they get really, like, fluffy. So I like doing, I like putting the primer in them, because it kind of, like, collects the hair again. I guess that's me being ready. Like this is my hair without any like volume spray or any products that gives me volume. This is just I let my hair dry back. So whenever you guys ask me how I get a lot of volume, I know it sucks when I'm like, oh, it's just like this, but it's literally like, it's just my hair. And sometimes I enjoy it. Sometimes I don't enjoy it as much. But we're done. Took me 23 minutes. Mm, yeah, that's it. 
Also, I want to discuss this. So this is the Chanel bronzing. Um, a lot of people have asked me if it's worth the hype, if it's worth the money, and I legit love this. Like, it's so freaking good, um, and it goes on so beautifully. It looks so smooth on the face. It just, it's so good. Um, however, I don't know if they only have one shade or if I just got a shade. It's Bronze Universal. So I feel like it might be just one shade. So when I was tan, this, like when I was in Miami, this made me paler. Um, when I got home from Miami, I just put this all over my face instead of using like a foundation or anything. It was really, really beautiful. Um, so I highly recommend this. It is worth the money if you ask me. Also, I highly recommend this. <clears throat> also, I had two Marc Jacobs. Um, they're eyeliner. And I was like, oh, should I be fun and do something? But I'm probably just going to fuck my makeup up. Makeup up gonna fuck my makeup up yeah so i'm not gonna do that also i'll probably fix my Gucci cosmetic bag mm, i love it so much got it for christmas it's my favorite Rasmus! Jag ska ligga. ligga så här. Okej okay, guys, <laughs> I just got back from dinner. I deliberately did not film anything because we were, um, we just wanted dinner, the two of us, without any work or anything like that. I wore an Orson Iris dress with a vin with Ras blazer and a pair of heels. And I'll post a photo of it here so you can see. Okay, so I've scaled back my skincare routine whoa a lot like a lot a lot so what i use is and this is like i only i clean my face and then i moisturize it and that's basically my skincare routine right now um it works for me right now as well um every now and then like quite often though i started um doing like exfoliating my face as well so I can show you that product in another video um, but what I do is I wash my face with a ceramic ceramic slip cleanser from Sunday Riley um, and then I moisturize my face with the BioLine um, cream Dolce Plus um, and these are the only two products that I use on my face currently if I have a breakout I'll use like an overnight clearing gel um, and sometimes use like face masks but I don't do a toner I don't do like anything else Okay, so the cleanser is really good, but I do feel like it doesn't really wipe, like, the eye makeup. I feel like it doesn't really remove the eye makeup, which is a problem. So, like, sometimes I have to really, like, so I think I need something for the eye makeup first whenever I have mascara on. And I have this little guy right here and this little guy, and usually, you know what, this one is really dry right now, so I wouldn't put on a clear, like, a, an oil or anything. This one maybe, but I'm not home and I don't really care, so. Also, before I go to bed, I always put this on. Always. Breakfast. Guys, what do you think about this one? Is it fun, no fun? I think it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking of buying these and some TV table. How <laughs> much is that? Nine thousand dollars. Is no. fire price, I think. No biggie. Mm -hmm. No biggie. No worries. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh my god, wait, it walks. Okay, so I forgot to film an intro, so I'm already like sweaty. I've already worked out. Um but I started I started by walking on the treadmill for 30 minutes and um, I had an incline of 12% and then I had like the speed was 5 kilometers per hour and I did it for 30 minutes. I think it's like Lauren Giraldo's treadmill workout. I started watching her videos back in December and I'm like, okay, I need to try it. Also, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, so don't mind me. Um, and then after that workout, I did a circuit over there um, and I'm going to show you it. So I did the circuit. It's four exercises. And then I did them, so 20 repetitions each. Um, um, unless, no way. It's four exercises, and I did everything 20 repetitions each, 
but not the shoulder press. So the squat to shoulder press I did 15 times. Um, and then I did it three, three times each. So yeah, it was a good workout. Um, and then I had a hamburger for lunch and I'm like really, really full still. So I kind of feel like just going up and taking a shower and lying in bed all day. Um, but you never regret a workout. Sometimes you do, but I didn't today, so. workout it was a good workout um i didn't really know what i was gonna do like I hadn't planned it so i felt i'm happy with the results um the top is from Elo yoga the sports bra is from lululemon and the tights are lululemon and these babies are hook up on ones i don't think you're generally like supposed to work out in these at a gym um they're more like running shoes but it works for me so now i'm gonna go up and put on a sweatshirt and then I'm gonna go sweaty and disgusting down for a furniture meeting. Just got back up to the room. I put on this shirt that's really warm and comfortable. It's from Ragdoll LA. And now I'm going to meet Gustav, who is hopefully, hopefully, hopefully um, doing our kitchen table and hopefully living room table. Um, so that'll be really great, really exciting. It's really exciting to finally have like our own place and we're finally like getting our dream, um, dream, like furniture and stuff so it's really really exciting really overwhelming and really expensive so we're taking everything like a month at a time so for us like priority right now is the living room table and a couch um so we're just gonna bring the bed from our old apartment because that's like our dream bed it's so comfortable but the couch we're not bringing and the kitchen table we're not bringing because the kitchen table is not good um it's a round table fits four people it's not really nice we got it at ikea maybe like four years ago so it's pretty like scratched up um the bag is by far i have this bag in like okay so i have this color i have a brown color i have a black color i have a glitter color so i think i have four colors i'm slightly obsessed but i use them every single week like they're my go-to bags also thank you for like putting up with the quality of the videos this was obviously not intended but um at least it'll be a cute like following me around through the phone video um, and then next video I will be back on my vlog camera we want to get a new one because what we have is a little broken so be patient with me oh yeah oh yeah okay so these are just um, so this is a 3d photo of the table and then we like this um, color of the table so this is a wooden table it will be a wooden table and I'm a little scared about wood, like it needs to be really light and on points, but I think, I think we'll make it happen. I think it'll be nice. I don't know if you can hear me, it's very loud in here. <laughs> 